So I, I, I want to I have several, what could say, objections. Uh, I hope can I get to the next slide. Okay. <laughs> and now, uh, Lord's view is that information can be defined as uncertainty and not information in the sense of reducing uncertainty. But that's very different from, please go to the next one, um, from the, the normal understanding that information received reduces the receiver's uncertainty. And that is also true for, uh, in, for, for the information theory. Make the next one, please. And that, you know, that it's using this here, um, the info, amount of information transmitted between A and B, and you, on the left side, you have the measures of entropies, are always differences between entropies. So, and I think we agree that that uncertainty, nor the transmission of information in general sense has anything to do with the quantities of meaning. Uh, but uh, let me go back. back. And then Bates's catchy definition is, I think, very interesting. He says, information is a difference that makes a difference. And he agrees in some sense that information reduces the receiver's uncertainty, but he adds the important qualification that it must make a difference. It that means must be meaningful or significant. In fact, Larry, last time, he made that point of the significance. And that's where the issue of meaning comes in. But it is not measured in this form. Can you go to the next one? OK. Then the next question is actually then his notion, his notion of redundancy. I mean, he defines it as, well, he says, in fact, the capacity of a communication channel, how much it could transmit, how much variety is there, and how much is actually used. But in, in normally, normal senses, redundancy is actually the use of more characters, more words, more signals, more time, and so than necessary to transmit something. So in Bateson's sense, it, it must be meaningful. And then, go on, the next one. So now I think the, he uh, quotes we were correctly, I think, that redundancy might be a prime candidate for the theory of meaning. I fully agree with that. However, the, the, the missing part is actually that, that, that the prediction of that of missing parts can be done in numerous ways. Consider this spell checker. If you, if you have a word that, that is not correct, well, a spell checker can take care of it. It's not entirely meaning that makes a difference. So, and, and then, then I would say um, uh, the, the, the channel capacity is not, is not a measure of redundancy. Uh, the redundancy comes close to the role of meaning, but it could not be the same thing. I think there's something missing. And I, I, I wondered, I would like to know actually at some point what, what he thinks. Now, the, the next, now coming to the actual measurements. Yeah, these are the measurements of Shannon and, and by, uh, developed by McGill and Garner and Ashby, et cetera, et cetera. So that we have the entropy measures, we have the joint entropy, and then we have the noise measure, and the transmission measure, but I just now said. But very important is McGill and Garner in 1954, he've shown that this is not enough. One has to have another measure, maybe the interaction between three. When you deal with two things, and Shannon mainly dealt with senders and receivers, when you deal with three things, then there is an interaction between the three, and that is a Q measure. Now, um, and, and uh, that is, is the equation here, the amount of transmission uh, between all three is the sum of the individual transmission, but there comes the interaction. Now, I see, saw in Lurt's uh, description two diagrams, one on the left side, and that is the case where the interaction between, or the transmission between two variables is actually very minimal, but there's nothing in common, and at that moment, the, the interaction measure is zero. And if you look at the right side, and these are the diagrams that everyone uses, and he also, there is, of course, an, a middle part, and that is the interaction that needs to be 
uh, uh, needs to be taken uh, care of. But it turns out that this interaction measure becomes negative when there are three uh, variables that are interact. Now, and, and can you go to the next? Um, and so in, in 1972, I could show that whenever a system contains a circular relationships of adequate strength, then the fractions on which the logarithms are uh, computed are no longer probabilities. That means the interaction term as calculated by the sums and differences of these various kinds of things are no longer reality. They have, it's something else. It, it's really the, an artifact of, of the, the way it's calculated. And, uh, and I, I don't think that means anything. So can you go back next? So I think to me, the, the calculus of redundancy, and by the way, he also changes the definition of redundancy as a rel relative to the total, to, to the, the actual numbers, and as adds and subtracts quantities in any combination. And I think when they are negative, they are no longer described empirically realistic probability distributions. And in fact, I don't think they, they make sense to me. Mm. So uh, I would say even if the space uh, of, uh, of relation matter is defined in terms of meanings, as suggested by Shannon's co-author, he had a very simplistic notion of meaning, namely that simply the three dimensions have attributes. Uh, and they related not to, to the signals, but to the, the relationship between the signals and these attributes. This to me is the most simplistic notion of meaning. And I don't think uh, a load and anyone would really buy into this or consider this to be important. So, so and, and, and I think to me th that, that the notion of uh, redundancy does not make sense. Now, and I thought, uh, to, to give you a sense, I mean, for me, and, and it's, to me, evolution is very important to me. But I, th I think I'm, I'm dealing more, not so with big issues, even though I think one can translate it in this. I think a conversation is the most efficient evolutionary processes that humans can enact. Con uh, conversation is a way of participants in consensual construction of reality they constructed in order to live with them. When everything said is expected to have the meaning that is given by the addressee. So the meaning of what is said is resides in the responses elicited, not in the attributes. Now, and that, that is basically a quotation of Wittgenstein. Participants respect each other by offering each other spaces of possibilities. Now these spaces of possibilities are offered when you ask a question, you open up a, a space for the answer to be selected. So that's, that is in a sense uh, at, at the opposite of, um, of uh, information, that, which is reducing this, the uncertainty. So now I say here, Responses may be uh, reduced by participants, the un uh, reducing the uncertainty, let me conveying information or negative feedback, or maybe creating expanded possibilities, elaborate what, what's, what one said, um, doing something with it, and that's create spaces or mutations, one could say in, in, in traditional terms, or positive feedback, or an attempt to shift and that's the, the third version is attempt to shift the paradigms to an attention to something else. For example, when I claim I understand, that expresses a sense of closure and the desire to go on to a different topic. To me, conversations are self-organizing um, and participants are always respected for their contributions, but cannot claim credit for the resulting realities. So I think this is, it, it, I, and I think uh, the the three, well, one could say agents or dimensions that are now in chapter five, that to me, they, they, one could say there are three actors 
in an evolutionary process or interactions. But I think what is missing is actually that they could open each other's spaces of innovation and they could also reduce alternatives. And I think to me, the, the, the communication between them allows both. So and I, I didn't want to make much more, but this is basically what I had to say. I do not think that this calculus of redundancy is, is adequate because it deals basically with, uh, with uh, channel capacities. And channel capacity has not much to do with the ordinary sense of redundancy. And in, indeed, redundancy uh, has an element of meaning in it, but it is not calculated. It cannot be calculated by Shannon's uh, calculus. Okay. 